Oh, hello, Eric. Nice to see you again. Hello, can you hear me, Eric? Oh, hold on. Hello, 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 Eric. Uh, hello, teacher. How are you? Can you hear me? Yeah, right. Yeah, 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 I can hear you. All right, uh, welcome. What happened nice. yesterday? Uh, a little bit tired, but I'm nice. All right. Uh, well, <laughs> yesterday I was working and I leave. All right, very good. And I leave tomorrow at uh, 6 a.m. in the morning. All right, very good. Carolina, so welcome. Hi, teacher. Yes, 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 I understand that. Um, so just, just, just uh, a friendly advice, guys. Hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do for a moment because there's a lot of background noise. So just a friendly advice, guys. Try not to miss class here because what happens, guys? I've had students want, you know, that um, wanted another scholarship, maybe not. Um, like something more advanced, for example, you know, probably, right? The thing is that this being a scholarship, right? Since you're not paying, you know, for the service, it is something totally like free offered to you. You're not supposed to miss any class, okay? If you're working, I understand, all right? Uh, just, I mean, connect from your cell phone. I mean, it's not difficult for, you know, connecting from your cell phone, right? So uh, we only have two days left, guys, all right? So let's, you know, take advantage of that. How are you? How was the party, Carolina? Oh, it was good. It was just my daughter, my husband, and, and I, and me. <laughs> just right. the three of us. Mm -hmm. We were making, like, having him uh, going out for dinner. And that was right. fun. Very good. Did you guys finish the platform already? Yeah, I did. All right. I'm just having some problems with some exercises, and that's why I got the 99. But all right, we'll get it up to 800. All right. Okay. What about you, Eric? Did you complete it? No, the number four. No, not yet. I've been trying, but I have some issues with 4.2, I guess. Okay. All right, all right, we're gonna get there eventually, guys, okay? So we're talking, guys, about present perfect, and then, you know, today we're gonna talk about present perfect continues, okay? All right, <clears throat> so uh, we're supposed to finish these two exercises, guys, so. Uh, and you, uh, teacher, you look so tired. I'm always tired, that's a secret. I don't know. I don't know how do we call this in ojeras, but. Um. Well, yeah. I mean, I mean, I've been working a lot, but I'm okay. I actually feel really good. Okay. All right. I'm waiting for everybody to join, though. I don't know what happens to these guys. All right. Anyways, guys. So, uh, let's start working on this, okay? So let's complete it, number six, seven, eight, nine, and eleven to fifteen, okay? So I'll send the screenshot right now. I know that you were not here yesterday, guys, but I'm sorry. <laughs> you're supposed to know, right? I don't know. You have to complete it. Any questions? So it's about present perfect, guys. Okay, just put it in present perfect. Remember, guys, that the class is uploaded uh, to the YouTube channel as well. So if you miss a class, you can watch it on YouTube as well, right? All right, guys, so. Uh, do you know how can we look for the class that we missed? For example, I was trying uh, during the day to look for the class, but I couldn't. Uh, you should have received a link with uh, the playlist. Do you have the, the, the well, I'm not sure. Do you, do you guys oh, okay. have the, so the, in the yeah, email. I have the, the first message. Let's go. In the email that you received, there is a there is a link, there is a playlist. Okay, so that playlist is, okay. you know, what you're supposed to be 
uh, looking at. If not, don't worry. I'm going to send it right now. Um, let me look for it. It's called... Uh, Gimer, welcome back, Gimer. Sandra, nice to good see evening, you. Good evening. Mm, shame on you. <laughs> Me? Shame on you. <laughs> Why did you miss the class yesterday? I was really busy and tired. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. Now, okay. I, I, was, I was telling you guys that um, please use your cell phones if you're working, just because for the you know um, because of the attendance. It's really important that you connect, okay? So use yourself. I mean, just connect, you know, even if you are not. All right. I understand you can tell me, you know what, I'm working right now, but I'm here, okay? So you can connect from your cell phone. It's okay, right? I will not make you participate, but but uh, just be careful with that. All right. So I'm sending, uh, Sandra, do you have, or has any of you guys seen the, watch the YouTube channel? I, uh, I already watched it. Okay, very good. Do me a favor. Can you send? I can a, watch it today. Can you can you send? Um, I'm asking because Eric wants to watch it, but but um, he's not able to. So can you send the link of the playlist, please? Right now to the. Is there a playlist? Yes. <laughs> oh my God! You guys yeah. did you did you did you not? I, I found it, but just the video, just mm. normal. Okay. Uh, so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna send you what the playlist, okay? A zero. No, a. So it's over here, yeah. It's this one right here. Okay. So if you click on that one, you're gonna be able to pull up all classes we've got nice. so far, okay? Subscribe and become member. <laughs> all right. So there are your faces over there. Okay, guys. So, anyways, so let's uh, let's complete, guys. Okay, where we, you know, let's complete the exercises that we left yesterday. All right. So, did I already send you the images? To, yeah. Okay. So I sent you some images, guys, to the to the WhatsApp group. Okay. So let's complete them. Those are in in present perfect. I'm sorry, uh, future perfect. Okay. All right. So let's work in team, guys. All right, let's go. Oh, Claudia's here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't join yet. <laughs> Hello, Claudia. Hold on, guys. I'm going to have to recreate the room. There you go. <laughs> hold on, guys. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right. Very good. There you go. All right, we're good now. Hello, Laura. How are you? Hello, David. I'm good. I'm sorry to be late. All right, it's okay. Uh, you look tired today. Are you tired? I, did, I didn't find a link to the class. Oh. That's why. I... Okay. All right. Yes, uh... I'm tired, but I'm I'm really happy and excited because I get a promotion. In my, in my got, job. Nice. What did you get promoted to? Like, um, like bus. A what? I would be in charge uh, at an front or at a department for customer service. Oh, nice. You are a manager. Yes. Nice, nice. Very so good. I have to, I have to really, really improve my English because that it's my responsibility. All right. Today. That's that's good. That's good. That's good. Okay. All right, Sandra is supposed to be with you here. Hold on, let me get her. Okay? Give me one moment. It's your perfect continuous. Right? I'm looking for Sandra, yes. guys. <laughs> that's right. Okay. So can we start? I. I remember that when we have a specific time, it is going to be future. Hey, Sandra. Hello, hey, I need me. to join the rooms. <laughs> I don't know. I joined, but the session just sent me to the main group. All right. Uh, there's, 
do do you have another invitation now? You should have another invitation. No yet, but I, I accept it too. Okay, do me a favor, Kate. Okay? Do not accept anything right now. We're just gonna do okay. something, All right? All right. Try to accept now. Okay. Okay. All right, there you go. No, yes. <laughs> All right, very good. Let's work together. To using uh, future perfect, right? Number six. Perfect. Let's say number uh, seven. Number seven is uh, when, when will you have when, completed the work? Yes. When will have you completed the work? When when, when will, will you? Uh -huh, when will when will when will have you completed? Yes. Yes, yeah, that's correct. The work, okay. Number A, they, they, they will, they, they will have, they will have arrived, arrived by dinner by time. Dinner time. Mm -hmm. Okay. The next one. They will have okay. arrived. We arrived will have, time. yes, we will have um, been in London for three years next week. Next week. We will have uh, been. We will have been. We will have been in London for uh, three years next yes, week. Yes, yes, we, 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 yes, we will have been in London. Good job, guys. Good job. Keep it up. Okay. Four. Okay. Three. The next one. Future perfect. We'll want. Hmm? It says no. Dinner. <laughs> What's up? Are you working together? <laughs> That's it. Yes, we right, are. Uh, I'm sorry, Karina. Did you have a question? Yeah, um, I was just wondering, like, for example, the first one it says by seven, and I was asking Emer because I remember that. When we are talking about any specific time in the future, we should use a present perfect continuous. So for me, the first one will be um, number six. At number six, yes, I'm sorry. Like she won't have been finishing work by seven. That's for me, but no, that would be I'm absolutely not... incorrect. Why? Um, Think about it. So we're going to see present perfect. I mean, we're going to see future perfect continuous soon. All right. But uh, basically, future perfect continuous talks about an action that um, an ongoing action in, in the future that will be completed at a certain time in the future. All right. Now, also, you do not use future perfect continuous with non action verbs. Do you know what non action verbs are? So pretty much a verb that does not include like running, for example, we say have or um, need. State right? of me. Ex exactly. All right. So if you said she will have been finishing work by seven, uh, the, the, even the idea doesn't make sense. Okay, She will have finished, you know, uh, work by seven or her work. She won't have finished. Oh, but you're asking because it says, it doesn't say her, right? It says she will have been finishing work by seven. She will mm -hmm. have not finished work by, no, but it's okay. All right, present perfect is okay. So it will be, she won't have finished. She won't have finished, very good, you got it. And the number two, it sounds strange for me, like it says, no, will man, you seven. have even, seven, <laughs> I'm sorry. It says, will you have completed, but that's a question. 
So it is no will have you. Well, number seven. Mm -hmm. Okay. When you complete. The when work. will you have completed the work? So it's not when will have you. It is when will you have. Yes. All questions um, go with auxiliary first, right? Yes, that's why I was wondering if it is will have. It is will you have. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. So just will will go. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. I was looking on Google that. All right, very good. Good job, okay. guys. Have been being. <laughs> We will have been, been in London. Okay. And number 10 is, will she have gotten home by lunchtime? Got, gotten home. In London for... Are you, are you three. agree? Yes, I'm taking note of the number nine. Next week, 10, will, will she, will she have gotten home? home by lunchtime? Yeah. Will she have been not gotten? Will she have gotten? Mm -hmm. Okay. Have gotten home. Be in class yesterday. So, what were the subject? The so the subject was um the subject was uh, only future future perfect. And today, only future perfect. Only future perfect. Today, will okay. study future perfect continuous. Okay. So, did you uh, see or study something about the uh, mixed conditionals? Because I'm asking you because I was trying to to do the the platform, but I couldn't. For example, in 4.2, I have some issues with the sentence there. What else is saying? What else is the platform? Uh, uh, 4.2. In, 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 in which section? In what section? In which section? section? Four. Four. Uh, section I four. Try, yes, I tried to complete uh, 4.3. I tried to complete it. Okay. Yeah. Listen, I listen, did exercise. A, a 4.3. Ah, no, oh, yeah, no, 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 uh, no, 4, 2, 4.2. Yes, you did it? Yeah, but I have problem, uh, only have correct two and four exercise. Two exercise. Two and four. Two and four, yes. Two exercise. Yes. Two and four. I, I have one. I, for example, number one, in my, in my case, just number one. Ah, okay. What is the answer? What is the answer? For number one is by this time tomorrow, like it is on the... On How the by this time tomorrow? Platform. Comma. Yes. Comma. John will. John. June will have been travel. John will have been traveling. Traveling. Uh, for, for 24 hours. For 24 hours. Uh -huh, uh -huh. For Let me check. Yes, that's correct. Why? By this time, what do you have tomorrow, for, for number? You yes. will be traveling. Uh -huh, because it's continuous. John will uh -huh. be be traveling. Yes, it's continuing. Uh -huh, it's continuing. What about the number two? What do you have for number two? Yes, by the end, by the end of the next week, 
for the next week. Uh, they, they will have. Yes, they will have installed. They will have installed. Pass, right? In, install, install it. Install. The bear in past participle. Yes. They will his have phone, install. His phone point. Then we can call him. His phone period. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then we we can call him oh. the same of the sentences lo mismo que la oración okay, the same of the try sentences. remember yes i don't know why i got the wrong answer uh, and i remember uh, that i wrote it this way hello guys welcome back all right, guys, so let's review the exercise and then we're going to talk about future perfect continuous. Okay, and let's see once and for all what the difference is. Okay, so number one, well, number six actually. Uh, 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 let's see. Okay, guys, so what do we have for number six? Uh, Emer, what do you have for number six? She won't have finished work by seven. Okay, very good. Okay. Uh, number seven. What do we have for number seven? Number seven is when we'll have you complete the work. When we'll have you complete the work. Okay, when will you have complete? Guys, I don't know where my cursor is. What? This is, uh, this is so strange. I can't see my cursor. Anyways, guys, okay? Very good, okay? Uh, next one, Carolina, number eight. They will have arrived by dinner time. They will have arrived by dinner time. Number nine, Laura. I'm sorry. Hi. Hold on. Oh, I see where my cursor is. It's just my mouse is not working. Hold on. Go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry. Which one? Go ahead. Uh, number, number eight. Oh, my God. What's going on with my mouse? No, nine. Number nine. Yes, number nine. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with my mouse, guys. I can't see. All right. Very good. All right. Number nine. Go ahead. Okay. I will haven't I will haven't walked when I met when I met you. I don't know what, what remember the structure that. guys. I will haven't. I will have not. Those are okay, in the here, exercises. Here's the, here's the structure, guys. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um so I will haven't. Uh, I will have teacher, are, are we going to do the exercise that you sent to WhatsApp One group? Half. It's that, that's the exercise that... Oh, it's different? Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Huh? Really? All right. That's weird. Yes, it's different. One half, okay. Oh, okay, sorry. never mind, guys. It's my... my this, this one right here, I'm sorry. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, number nine. We will have been in London for three years next week. Very good. Okay. All right. Number 10, Sandra. Will she have gotten home by lunchtime? Very good. Okay. All right. Number 11, uh, Claudia. 11 is a. Uh, we'll have you done everything you see by seven? That's incorrect. We'll have. Huh? That is incorrect. No. We'll have you done. Ah, that's incorrect. Yes. Done everything by seven. Pronunciation is everything, right? Very good. Now, uh, what's wrong there, guys? We'll have you done. 
what's wrong there? What's wrong with that, with that structure? Mm. How do we say it, Karina? Will you have done everything by seven? Very good, okay. Will you have done everything by seven? All right. Will you have done everything by seven? All right. And we, you, saw that, you have we saw that yesterday, guys. Okay, see, right here, right. Plus well, a question mark. Okay. Will you have? Will you have done? Okay. All right. Uh, next one. Uh, Eric. Number twelve. Yeah, we wouldn't have, uh, we won't have uh, eaten before we come, so we'll be hungry. I'm sorry. What was that again? Uh, we wouldn't have eaten before we come, so we'll be hungry. Very good. Okay. Good job. Um, Laura, number 13. Okay. He will have finished his, his exams when we go on holiday. Very good. He, okay. All right. He will have what? He will have finished his exams when we go on holiday. Finish the ex exams when we go on holiday. Very good. Um, but that was a question, teacher. Oh, yeah, it is a question. So how do we make that question, yeah. Laura? Okay. Will he, will he have finished his exams when we go on holiday? Good. Exams, not exams. Exams. Exams, okay. Very good. good job. Uh, Caro, let's go with number 14. Will we have arrived by the time it gets dark? Very good. Sandra, number 15. How long will you have known your boyfriend when you get married? Very good, guys, when you get married, okay. Now, guys, all right, what's, what's the difference, okay? What's the difference between future perfect, all right? Be careful with this, guys, okay? This is the key. And this should answer your question as well, Katarina. All right. With both scenarios, you can use both sentences, okay? The difference is, well, in some of them, you, you cannot use stated verbs, guys, or you cannot use uh, non-action verbs with future perfect continuous. But aside from that, guys, the biggest difference is, you know, for future perfect, we use something that will end in the future, all right? Something that will end in the future. For future perfect continuous, we use something that continues after that point in the future. So in one of them, I repeat, guys, in one of them, it continues and the other one stops, okay? All right, so present, I mean, future perfect, in future perfect, the action stops in the future. And in future perfect continuous, the action continues in the future. All right? So, hey, David, can I say... Can I say uh, she will not, she will not have, um, let's see, let's see which one. Oh, they will not be arriving by dinner time or they will be arriving by dinner time. Can I say that? Uh, I'm sorry. Can, can I say uh, they will have, a, have been arriving by dinner time or can I say uh, they will have arrived by dinner time? The fact, guys, is that as long as it is an action verb, you can interchange them both. And as long as the time referent also makes sense, you can interchange them as well. The only thing that you cannot use is non-action verbs. So you cannot say, for example, having, loving, liking, all right? Anyway, so let's take a look, guys, at some examples. Okay, so Emer, help me read the first example. In November, I will have been working at my company for three years. Very good, okay, no, take a look at this sentence, guys. So if I said something like this, guys, does that mean that I will continue working after three years? After November, I'm sorry? Yes. Or not? Very good. Yes. Okay, very good job. Now, can I say this? I will have... I will have worked. Can I say this? Uh, no. Why not? Know. Yes, because. because it's an action verb. But it means that you, that will be okay. the last date of work. Oh. Okay, right. that just the change. 
go ahead. Go ahead, Laura. Good job, Karina. Uh, go ahead, Laura. Just change the action that one is finished and then another one is continued. Exactly. All right. So that is the only difference. All right. Very good. So in, the, in this case, guys, the action continues, right? Uh, Eric, help me read number two. Well, the second one. At five o'clock, I will have been waiting for 30 minutes. Very good. Okay, I will have been waiting for 30 minutes. Does that mean that are you gonna that you're gonna still, you know, you're still gonna be waiting after five o'clock? Yes, you will be waiting more than 30 minutes. Yes, all right. You will be waiting more than, than 30 minutes, right? Very good. Sandra, number three. When I turn 30. I will have been playing piano for 21 years. Very good. Okay. You will have been playing piano for 21 years. So that means that you will continue playing piano after 21 years. So after you turn 30. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Very good, guys. All right. So far, so good. Now, it doesn't mean, guys, that, you know, when, when, when you turn 30, you're actually going to continue. All right. It's just the idea of you continuing. Okay. All right, take a look at this, guys. And now I want you to analyze. I, I mentioned, guys, that you cannot use action, I mean, uh, non-action verbs with with uh, present perfect continuous, OK? That's another difference number two, OK? Not being able to use action verbs, non-action verbs, I'm sorry, with future perfect continuous. All right, uh, let's analyze these four sentences. And let's decide which one is incorrect, OK? There are two incorrect sentences here so let's decide which ones you know they are all right let's start with emer thank you sir uh let's go with number one correct or incorrect uh incorrect why no we <laughs> good job let's for email <laughs> good job all right these guys okay now if you wanna if you wanna make your life easier guys so identify an action verb or you know what is an action verb and what's not an action verb you can do something okay if you can represent it guys with movement okay it's an action verb okay usually right not all the time okay whatever you cannot represent with your with movement it's not pretty much an action verb okay not all the times, but that's the easiest way to remember. So when you say knowing, guys, knowing, can you represent it with, with movement? No. No, right? Very good. No. You cannot say, guys, I will have been knowing you for a week, okay? Because this is a non-action verb, okay? So which, number two, Carolina, correct or incorrect? Correct. All right, very good, okay? Uh, Gloria, number three, correct or incorrect? I could have been reading in uh, 45 books. Mm. I think it's correct because I will have been reading. Okay. I, yes, it's correct. Okay. What do you think, Laura? Correct. correct. Yeah. I don't know because reading can be an, an action, but not moving, just. Or it's an action maybe verb, it's, guys. Yes, it's, it is incorrect, okay? You can't say, I will have been reading 45 books by Christmas, okay? That is incorrect, All right? The right way to say it is, I will have read 45 books by Christmas, okay? All right, so that's the difference number two, guys, okay? Now, can I say, let's let's make one up, guys, okay? Can I say, uh, let's see, Eric. All right, let's see, Eric will have been loving his wife um, for five years now. Is this correct or incorrect, guys? What do you think, Gloria? Incorrect. incorrect. Okay, why is it incorrect? Thank you, guys. Why is it incorrect, Gloria? Because loving. 
All right, very good. Loving is not an action verb, right? Very good. All right, it's, it's not an action verb, okay? Uh, mm -hmm. Let's have another example. Uh, let's see. Imer, give me another example. Mm. Let's talk about like. Uh, with like, I cannot make a continuous or... Exactly, right? You can't say Emer will have been liking. Uh, I don't know. Emer looks like. How old are you, Emer? 23. Okay, Ariana Grande, right? Ariana Grande. <laughs> oh my gosh. Four or five years now. Okay. <laughs> All right. Now, why, why is this correct or incorrect, guys? What do you think, Sandra? Because the verb like is an unaction verb. Very good, okay. Good job, guys, okay. Super, super good job, okay. So, uh, Carolina, what's the difference between future perfect and future perfect continuous? Mm, the future perfect is something that will end in the future. And the future perfect continuous it is an action that continues in the future. Very good. Okay, an action that continues in the future, after some point in the future. Very good. All right, good job, guys. Any questions so far? So far, so good. So far, so good? Yeah. Very good. Okay, good, 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 good job. All right, I wanted to show you the structure. Very good. So now here's the structure, guys, okay? So if you notice, guys, mm -hmm. it is pretty similar similar to the, to the structure of... Mm -hmm of uh, future perfect, but there is one difference here. What is the big mm -hmm. difference that you see here? Well, there are actually two differences. All right, the use of, go ahead, Karina, I'm sorry. I wasn't talking, but oh, if, okay. you can, if you allow me, I can tell you the difference that I can see. <laughs> Oh, okay. The first difference is the BEAM, B-E-E-M, that very we will good. always use it. And the other one is that the last very will be in part in ING form. Exactly right. This right here, okay, the present participle, guys, or ING, okay. All right. These right here, guys, this is the big difference, okay. All right. So in the previous example, in Future Perfect, we used past participles, right? So now we use present participles and we have added the verb be here in past participle form, okay? And here, okay, so this is a this is the structure for a positive sentence and then you have the structure for a question here, okay? Right? And that is the difference, guys. Now, notice, guys, that it says W here, WH here, which means a WH question, but you don't necessarily need to use a WH question, okay? This is optional, right? So you can say, you can start with will. Now, question for you guys. Does the verb change, does the verb change if we're talking in third person? No. No. No, it doesn't, right? The structure still continues even though we talk in third person, all right? We're good. All right, guys. Now, we have some exercises here. Okay, so uh, let's complete it. But before that, do we have a question, guys, or is it clear? Laura? I guess. Is it clear? clear? Or you need more examples? Okay. Emer? All right. Uh, Claudia? Yes, teacher. Yes. All right. Sandra? Sure? I think so. <laughs> okay, Karina. I think Karina, you do. You're very smart. <laughs> just uh, non just the non action verbs. Uh -huh. We can we can use non action verbs. <laughs> all right. Okay. Look them up. You know, there's a difference. Not all stated verbs are non action verbs, by the way. All right, but look them up on Google if you want a stated verbs. Okay, they should come up like that as well. All right, guys, so uh, I'm going to send you this, guys, and uh, let's work on the exercises then, okay? All right, same thing as before, and good luck. 
All right. One half. All right, guys, let's go. The descent. Okay, the first one is I, I will have work all weekend, so I want to be energy on Sunday night. I will have been working. I will have been working. Yes, I will have been I will have been working. Okay, okay. The next one, I think, is how long? How long? Uh, I don't know. How long? How will, long will you have? How, no. How long will you? Hey guys. How you doing, mate? How you doing, mate? You hey, mate? You look very tired today, man. A tough day. Tough day. <laughs> what is it that, that you do again? Some more development, but yeah, yeah. today I had to investigate something. <laughs> oh a lot of things. So what what far. what language what language do you use? C sharp. Well ASP, C sharp and that kind of stuff. <laughs> How long have you been studying that that? Is, uh, did you graduate from engineer? Yes, oh. I already graduated. Nice man. Last last year. Nice, nice, nice. That's awesome. Yes, thank you. Mm. Okay, number one, Eric. Number one, I guess is I I will have been working. Yes. Working. Yes. Oh, All the weekend, so I won't be energetic on Saturday night. Sun night. Sunday night. On Sunday, Sunday night. night. Mm -hmm. How long have you? How, how long, long will you have been waiting? How long? Let's say. How long have You've been waiting. Have you been waiting? Will wait. Uh, sorry. How long have will you, you been? Will you have? Will you? Will you have been waiting? I guess this is an act, an action there, right? It's an action. How wait. long? Why? Wait. I understand that waiting. It's. Something. Look, look it up, look it up. An action, you wait. Okay, how long have you been waiting? I think. When you finally get your exam result. All right, okay, let's read it that way. How long? You said, how long, how long what? Will you have been waiting? <laughs> Will you have? Now ah, wait. Will you have? Hmm. Wait, 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 waiting? wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I when you finally get your exam results, ah no, uh, well, I think it's not. It's already fin, already finished the action because someone got their ex 
there he, someone got so his hair so whatever exam results results i think it's not have been waited how long will you have been? wait how long will you have wait waited how long yeah. it's already finished help me so guys i mean in the sentence i mean you can use first of all yes you can use it in the ing form right weight can be used in the ing form right mm -hmm. but it's so you can finished. continue how do why do you think that it why do you say that it's already finished because you someone finally got their his results okay so it says here how can you can you not think about it okay what is the action that will be that will continue in the future after some point in the future wait first of all first of all no first of all okay yeah wait exactly right I mean, what is the point in the future? The point, the, f the beginning. No. What is the, the, the point in the future? Of what this is referring. Because you can use both. That's the thing. You can use both. All right. Here we're practicing with future perfect continuous. Okay. But you can but see this... how long will you have been waiting when you finally get your exam results. So that means, right? Uh, if you say when you finally get your your exam results, can I can I continue waiting? You cannot. You cannot, right? Okay. So here, okay, because of that context, it's better to use future perfect. All right. Mm -hmm. So I like I like that that analysis that you made. Okay. Good job. Okay. Okay. Julie. Number three. I guess it's Julie won't have ate much. Now, Eden? now let me let me Eden. give you, yeah, let me yeah, give you Eden. another Eden. let me tell you another thing, okay? In that question, okay, just for the sake of the exercises, we're using future perfect continuous for all of them. And again, okay. you can yes, you can use in that question, Emer. As long as it is not a stative verb, you can still use future perfect continuous. Okay. So the fact that you're talking about, you know, whenever they get the exam, it means that that person eventually will be waiting. I mean, will will continue waiting. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's just the idea, not not that she will actually, you know, might continue waiting, right? But yes, you can use it in future perfect continuous form. All right. Okay. All of these, in fact, guys, are future perfect continuous. All right. All of them. Okay. All right. Hello, girls. How are we? How are we doing? Bad. <laughs> Bad. <laughs> All right. Tip for you. Okay. All of them are future perfect continuous. Okay. Really? Yes. Okay. Yes. Oh. Uh huh. But I have a question. So. Go ahead. The word plan. It is not something that you can see. But, plan. Uh huh. But you have it in the number. Right, I see. Yes, same for okay. weight, guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, <laughs> and so those imagine. are the ones that I'm... We were dealing with it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right. So I mentioned, guys, that's why I emphasize not all of them, not all yeah. of the verbs that you can, you know, show movement mm -hmm, with mm -hmm, are stated mm -hmm. verbs, right? Not all of them, right? Like waiting. Waiting is actually an action because it's the lack of... It's the lack of what? Like, how would you represent waiting, right? You cannot say, oh, I'm waiting, right? And you're moving. Hey, wait faster. No, right? I will be doing this and I'm waiting. Okay, right. <laughs> I'm going to be moving. <laughs> All right, very good, okay? Now, think about this, okay? Every time, if you can use the ing form of that verb in other tenses, you can also use it in, pre in future perfect continuous. Can you say, I'm oh. waiting for you? Yeah. Also right, loving, you? I'm loving you. It's, it's inc it, yes, people use it, but that is absolutely incorrect. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. Yes. I have heard it in songs, because that's why I... I know. I, I, I know. It's also a... Uh, 
it's also a slogan from McDonald's. I'm loving it. Mm -hmm. right? But it's incorrect. I mean, it's informal speech, right? Oh. Just like just like we speak, just like we speak like horrible Spanish, they speak you know mm -hmm. informal English as well, right? And but what about you, reading, teacher? Reading? Can you say I'm reading? I'm reading. I'm reading right now, man. Can you say mm -hmm. that? Yes. yes. So, yes. okay. So, yeah, you can use it. Can you say, I'm planning a wedding? Oh, yeah. what are you doing right now, man? I'm planning a wedding. So, that in that sense, guys, an action means something that you can actually be doing at the moment, okay? If you say, So, we follow oh, common sense. Exactly. When you say, for example, when you say, for example, uh, can you say, What are you doing right now? Oh, I'm loving. Can you say that? I'm loving. No. All right. Do you understand what the difference is now? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. I will right. be asking myself. All right. All the time. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm liking. What? No. Right. Maybe you're no. giving a like. You're giving a like on Facebook, right? <laughs> I mean, yeah, that, that yeah, I would say I'm, I'm liking people on Facebook, but that would mean that I'm clicking on like, right? Mm -hmm. Very good. All right. But uh, yeah, just, just for you to know, just FYI. All of them are future perfect continuous. Okay. 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 Right, so we're not going to be continue fighting. <laughs> fighting with what? With our minds, with our thoughts, yeah. with our beliefs, with our common sense. <laughs> that, well, now that you do have, you have found common sense, you're good. You don't need to fight anymore. <laughs> yes, teacher. We are here having tears of blood because we are exploding almost but no, I now think, you break you brand the piece so thank you i i think i think the this is usually a difficult topic to understand because people don't see it that way one ends an action and the other one continues an action you know that's the whole difference you know? yeah. oh mm -hmm. so that is like as long as you remember that and also guys future perfect continuity is used for like 10 percent even in Spanish, or in Spanish, guys, we don't use it as much, right? Uh, mm -hmm. So it's like 10% of our, of our speech or less. Uh, simple, you know, past tenses is 80%. So like, we don't necessarily use this, but this is very, this is advanced, you know, because this is not something that. that yeah, um, it's good to know it. Yeah, it's good to know it, right? Very good, guys. So we're going to go back now. All right, guys. Welcome back. All right, so let's uh, let's complete them all, guys. Uh, number one, Claudia. Yes, number one is I will have been I will have been working all weekend, so I won't be energy on Sunday night. Okay, very good. Okay, we'll have been working all weekend okay so i won't be energetic not energy okay very good mm -hmm. thank Get you it. very much okay good job claudia uh emer number two okay. how long will you have been waiting when you finally got your exam results very good very good guys okay good job good job Emer. uh next one carolina number three Julie will not have been eating much, so we'll need to make sure she has a good meal when she arrives. Very good. Perfect. Uh, Sandra, number four. How long will she have been planning to move house when she finally moves? Very good. When she finally moves. Very good job. Uh, number five. Who? Cool. Uh, Laura. <laughs> My the teacher. <laughs> Go ahead. Will she have been waiting long by the time we get there? Okay, will she have been waiting long by the time we get there? Okay, very good. All right. One thing, guys, I was explaining this to, uh, we're going to leave it here, guys, because I think you got it, okay? Complete them all. If you have not finished 6 to 15, guys, okay, go ahead and complete that. 
one thing, guys, that I was mentioning is that 80% of what we speak, guys, is in the past, okay? Future perfect, guys, and future perfect continued probably covers 5%. 5 or 10% of what we speak uh, in a day, okay? So it's, it's really not used that much. But we use it, okay? Even in Spanish, guys, we do have, you know, future perfect and future perfect continuous, and we use it as well. However, again, we don't use it as often as, as we use other tenses, right? As we use the past, for example, okay? Now, guys, do we have any question? We're good? All right, guys. So we have two more days, that guys. Um, we're gonna we're gonna go over the next topic. In the next topic, guys, it's very important that you. Well, actually, guys, just be present. But we're gonna we're gonna review mixed conditionals, okay? And mixed conditionals, guys, they are not difficult actually. However, uh, for some reason, you know, people get confused. Okay, so just tune in for tomorrow's class and uh on thursday guys i'm gonna be going over the answers from everything including the final exam and also you know we're gonna continue with mixed conditionals okay so two more days to go guys okay this is just don't miss the class and uh i'll see you tomorrow okay thank you Karina. thank you Imer. thank you claudia sandra Bye. laura eric see you tomorrow thank you teacher yeah. bye you guys